In this Cricut tutorial, I'm showing you a new and updated way to best etch a powder coated stainless steel tumbler in just a few minutes with the help of a Cricut. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael and this is crafty.net where we bring you Cricut tips, the tricks and the tutorials multiple times every single week and y'all i am so excited about this video because i have recently done a video similar to this over on the mr crafty pants youtube channel but y'all this is like a new and updated version of this where you can get this etched you can get this stripped in just a few minutes it's absolutely insane now there is no credit to be taken here this is all from adrian over at m2c1 designs on tiktok this is where i learned it from she is the mastermind go spread some crafty love give her a follow on tiktok because she has some really great videos but this is what we're etching right here this little powder coated stainless steel wine tumbler i guess is what you'd call this and we are doing this with the help of citrus strip right here we will also be using some aluminum foil, a heat gun, and a couple other little doodads, which we'll get to when we get to it. But we will also need an awesome design to etch into an awesome tumbler, right? So let's head over to crafty.net because if you don't know, Crafty is where you go. It is like the go-to spot if you own a Cricut or Silhouette or if you do sublimation or mess around with lasers. Crafty.net is the place to go. It's like a one-stop shop for really a low monthly price it's like 9.99 you get unlimited access to everything on the site but i'm going to come in here and do a one click download since i do have this svg version selected already and there we go just as simple as that so let's head over here to cricut design space and here is our design uploaded here onto the cricut design space canvas now we do need to go in here and actually resize this to fit onto our tumbler so i am going to go ahead and make our design a max of two and three quarters of an inch. So let's come over here and actually come up here to where it says size, change the width to 2.75, hit enter and there we go. Now we are also creating a stencil for this with vinyl. And so with this, it's all gonna be one single solid color. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and come down here and click on weld just to make that all one single solid color like so. And then let's come up here and click on make it. All right, so this is like the map preview screen essentially, right? So this is where we're basically kind of seeing exactly where our design is going to cut out onto our mat. Now we are going to make this into a stencil. So I do want to give us a little bit of breathing room around the actual design, a little bit of a margin. So let's go ahead and just kind of drag this down and over here like so, and then come down here and click on continue. Now I did go ahead and previously cut this out with the Starcraft HD permanent adhesive vinyl. And I did use this vinyl cut setting right here. We have a little bit of a margin around our actual design. And then hopefully you can see the actual design cut inside of there. Now we are going to weed this out a little bit differently. We're not going to weed this out the normal way where we remove the surroundings. Not at all. We're actually going to go in here and remove the actual design from everything else. A little bit of a reverse weeding kind of method, I guess you could call it. Um, and then by doing that, we'll actually be creating a stencil. So let's go ahead and grab a little weeding tool and then go to town on it. All right, so as you can see here, we now have our stencil. So all we really need is some transfer tape to actually apply this over and onto our tumbler. I'm now going in here and just removing the backing off of the vinyl and transfer tape. I just think it's so much easier this way. There we have it. Before we apply that down to our tumbler, let's go ahead and wipe this down with some isopropyl alcohol, some rubbing alcohol, just to make sure that there is no film and that we can get a really good adhesion of that vinyl to the surface, just so that our citrus strip is less likely to leak up and underneath that stencil. Now, something to keep in mind is that not all tumblers will actually etch. So basically I just went ahead and put a little dollop of citrus strip down here on the bottom of the tumbler, let it sit for a while, go in there just periodically and check on it. And if it etches, well, that's, that's what we want. I'm actually gonna go in here and just remove this lid just so we can get this all to lay down a little bit easier. All right, so we do wanna go in here and just make sure that all of those pieces of vinyl, everything that is surrounding our actual letters is nicely adhered down to that surface. We wanna make sure that there's nothing bubbling up. So again, we don't have any of our citrus strip leaking up and underneath of our stencil. But we're looking pretty good here. So let's go ahead and lay this back down onto this little, this little squeegee. Let's go ahead and apply down our citrus strip. Now, the citrus strip is a chemical. 
you do want to wear your PPE, your personal protective equipment. So for something like this, that would include glasses, maybe even a mask, gloves, the whole nine yards, all right? So let's go ahead and get that ready. You really want to give the citrus strip a really good shake. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just pour some out in this little cup right here. All right, so that was more than I was expecting. Uh, but I will go ahead and just kind of put that back into the container after we're done. And really, I'm just gonna go in here and according to Adrian, again, over at M2C1 Designs, just give this a really good thick coat. And you really just wanna make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies. So go up and down, side to side, you know, go over all the angles, everything. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and cover this up with aluminum foil. And I'm just grabbing my heat gun and putting this on lower heat. And we'll just kind of go over this for a few minutes and we will occasionally check in, go over this with a little weeding cook to see how it's coming along with the whole etching process. And by the way, for all this, I am putting on a mask. All right, so I just went in there, checked it with my little weeding hook, and it's actually peeling up just fine, just the way it should be. And that was only about two, two and a half minutes. So what I'm gonna do is actually grab my little shop towel again, grab some rubbing alcohol, and then just really go over this. And once we have a lot of that off, we can go ahead and peel off this vinyl stencil as well. Hey, real quick, if you are new around here to this crafty channel and you also want to learn how to best use your Cricut, then definitely consider stamping that subscribe button. Also consider ringing that little bell for all of the notifications. Consider stamping that like button and dropping a comment down below. Thank y'all so much for watching. We love y'all to the freaking moon and back. And until next time, stay crafty.